hey everyone this is benjamin here in this video i'm actually going to be teaching you five ways on how you can stay productive and also save so much time when working inside of canva so let's dive straight into it so before we dive into it i just want you to know that these tips i'm about to share with you are tips i actually use practically inside of canva and it's been helping me that's why i think i'm ready to share them with you so let's dive straight into the first tip so the first tip is naming your files and i know this may sound very easy and very basic but the truth of the matter is anytime you make a design inside of canva and you get to the point where you have to refer to a previous design it can be so painful when you have to search for a design you actually don't remember how you named it so this is a simple technique i have a simple naming scheme i always follow when working on any design at all so for example let's say i have a client called danny maturo and um, he needs me to create three instagram templates for him this is what i do i first of all start with the client's name the second thing is the type of content the client needs me to do and the third thing is the number of templates so if it's the third first or second design i'm working on i just add that number to the naming so that i can always know that okay so this is the third design this is the fourth design and even if i have to refer to a previous design i made it's very easy for me to always know how to go about whichever design i'm looking for so i just hope that if you haven't been naming your files from this video you are always going to start naming your files the second tip i have for you is creating and using templates and this is what i do so when it comes to my instagram content my youtube thumbnails and my instagram community posts instead of creating them from scratch i already have a template i follow throughout and this helps to save so much time whenever i have to go back to create these designs because trying to come up with designs that always follow the same style and pattern can be stressful after some time so i just have templates i always import inside of the current design i'm making and all i have to do is to change some few things such as colors and text then i can start going so how to go about this is once you are on a new design you're working on just look on the left pane of your design scroll so you find all designs and once you click in there you can just go through to find some of the previous design you worked on select any of them to import them inside of your current design then you can just make the necessary changes you need on them this makes it so much easier and fun working in canva the third tip i have for you is working with folders and yes canva gives you the opportunity to work with folders so this is how it's benefited me as a canva designer whenever i'm working for a client instead of just creating and you know naming my files and just leaving them on all my projects i always get to create a special folder for any client i'm actually working with and any design i make for the client i get to move them in that folder so that when i need to refer to a previous design i already know that instead of now going to scroll through all the designs i've made i know i can actually go to a specific folder where i can find all the designs i made for a particular client and this has been a game changer because in this case if you want to share all the designs to a client instead of sharing them individually you can actually share the whole folder with the client or even with your team members who are assisting you on a particular project the fourth tip i have for you is styling important folders and the way this is helpful is the fact that if you have so many folders inside of canva you've been working with but there are a few of them where you always work with them frequently canva gives you the option to start these folders you actually work with frequently so that you are able to access them easily so this is how it works once you start in a particular folder and you open canva afresh the particular folder you have actually started also gets to show on the left side of your canva window so that it's easier to access these designs so i hope you're actually going to use this thing because it's actually been a game changer for me now the last thing is deleting unwanted uploads and as a canva designer like myself i've always been uploading so many things inside of canva and it's really been slowing me down whenever i have to find maybe an important upload i made some time ago so for example the first few important items i uploaded to canva when i created my canva account was my logo and i know you can already imagine the stress i already have to go through when i have to scroll to the bottom of all my uploads and this is actually stressful because i've always been keeping unwanted uploads so what 
I've been doing these days is anytime I work with any upload and I think I do not need them anymore, I just delete them so that it's always easier to always find important uploads I made some time ago. And I hope with all of these things I've shared with you, you are actually going to be using them because these are things that I use practically on a daily basis when I'm working inside of Canva. So yes, if you are looking for more Canva videos like this, I just want you to do two things for me. Hit on the like button and if you are new, hit on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my future Canva videos. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. I should see you in my next video.